Today, I'm going to show you the most interesting grid tool in Adobe Illustrator and how I use it to make awesome and intricate designs like you can see on screen right now. What is up people, welcome back to Satoru Graphics, the home of graphic design content right here on YouTube. I'm going to show you two different ways that I use a specific grid tool in Illustrator. You probably don't know much about it prior to watching today's tutorial. The grid tool in question can be located here under the line segment tool. With it selected, click the artboard and then in the new window, I'm going to make 5 circumference sections and then 10 slices. Something you're going to understand next. So as you can see, I have essentially 10 slices around my circle and then each different slice is split into 5 sections horizontally. Now we want one section of the circle to be perfectly aligned and seeing as we have 10 slices of a circle, one slice is 36 degrees and so I'm going to rotate the circle half of one slice which is 18 degrees. Now we have this slice here perfectly aligned which means we can work on this area. Now we can go into the Pathfinder window and use a divide function which is going to cut the grid into sections and then finally we can ungroup it like so. We can now remove all of the unwanted areas of the circle apart from the one slice that we're going to work with. So once you have this one slice remaining, group everything together by pressing Command G on a Mac or Control G on a PC. We're now going to open up the symbols window here and then drag and drop the slice in. Make sure that you use the graphic option and then enter a relevant name. We have one more final step before we can make some interesting and some awesome designs. So press R for the rotate tool and then drag the crosshair icon into the bottom of the slice. Click once and then hold down the Alt or the Option key until you see the dotted line icon next to your cursor and click again. So I had 10 slices, each slice was 36 degrees. So I'm going to type in 36 degrees and then hit copy. We can then press command or control D to repeat the process until we make a full circle again. Now this is where the magic happens. On the original slice, double click it and enter into isolation mode. From here, whatever you draw inside this slice will eventually be copied around the entire circle design. Now you can use shape tools, you can use the pen tool, you can use anything you want to make your design. I do have another tip for using the grid next, but let's finish this design here by clicking off of the isolation mode at the very top. And as you can see, the design has been repeated around the circle. And to remove the grid, double click the original slice and then delete the grid lines. Now you can make some really interesting and cool shapes and designs, I'm just made this quick design here to show you how it works. But next I'm going to show you another quick way how to use this grid tool in Illustrator. This time I've locked the grid down in place by going over to object and lock, or you can press command or control 2 on your keyboard. The trick here is to draw in a shape that meets the edge of the slice perfectly. Press R for the rotate tool and then drag the icon down to the middle of the grid. Hold down the Alt Option key and click again, and I'm also going to copy this shape by 36 degrees into the next slice. Now with both shapes selected, we can head into the Pathfinder window and unite them as one vector shape. So using the Rotate tool again, we're now going to copy this new shape by half of 36 degrees, which is half of one of the slices on my grid, and that is 18 degrees. Now I'm going to use the command or control D process to finish off the design as you can see here. I can copy this section and duplicate it over the top by pressing command or control C and then command or control F. From here I can resize and rearrange the new shape. Now you can use both techniques in today's video in combination with the Poda grid tool and make some really interesting and awesome designs. 
Remember, if you want to improve your skills as a graphic designer, subscribe to Satori Graphics for weekly graphic design content. Like and share my content on social media. And of course, until next time, design your future today. Peace.